Great, they picked the worst stage to possibly to play on. The hot tease is worth it, I promise you. It is not a joke. Round one, fight. Here we go. This matchup is viewed to be one of the worst matchups for Sub-Zero. We might have Buffalo switch to uh, his new, new and improved sector. I've noticed something about Beyond Toxin lately. Ever since we've gotten out of Evo season, in my opinion, Toxin has been playing even 10 times better. I feel like that Lost really lit a fire under him. I don't know. It's just something about the way he plays lately. It's interesting. It's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more aggressive. Also, Buffalo is no slouch. Buffalo, we all know what he has done in his short tournament life. He should have got top eight at Summer Jam, but we're not going to talk about that. He literally, Buffalo literally went to a major and lost to a dude wearing a shirt with Buffalo's name on it. Like, have any, has, have any of you guys, have any of you guys literally been to a tournament and lost to a dude that wore a shirt with your name on it? I've never gone to a tournament and lost to a guy that wore a shirt that said Pig of the Hut. Buffalo, Buffalo literally lost to a guy from Buffalo, I think, who had a sh had a shirt on that said loud and clear Buffalo. Yeah, last year first, I, I told I told Buffalo I felt bad for him. That matchup looks legit seven three eight two. It looks so gross. No, Buffalo was wearing his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shirt, which would have been awesome if he if if Buffalo lost to a guy wearing a Buffalo T-shirt and lost to another guy in tournament named like Leonardo or a Ninja Turtle fan or something. I don't know. Oh, nice, nice cleanup there by Buffalo. Final round, fight. I I admit something. Everyone's asking me uh, to uh, to talk about Star Chargers pop off. I got done with a, uh, a sports broadcast today at 6 o'clock. I got in my car and turned on the stream while driving and put it on audio only. I was just listening to the audio. So I, I you know, had the phone like turned over in my passenger seat as I was driving home from work. And uh, so I didn't see the pop-off, but I've heard, nothing of, I've heard nothing more than people talk about it. So I didn't watch it. Oh, a big punish. Oh, no, not so much. Oh. Oh my god, could this be the best comeback of the night so far? Oh, resets him, resets him, does the ghetto a one month reset. He might do another reset. Oh, he, he's going to go for the plus frames. Oh, he's going to go in. He punishes. Uh, I, there's no way to survive this. There's no way to survive this. EX Push has his name written all over it. There's no way to survive this. Yeah, there's literally no way to, he could have avoided that there's not a thing in the world he could have done there is a new king. yeah I've heard and read about the pop-off after I got home and stuff uh, I had a friend call me and ask me if I saw it told me about it didn't see it but I heard about it so I'll go back and watch it later so guys hey let me know where oh, this is one zero toxin versus Buffalo I want everyone to uh, I have a feeling a lot of people don't know about Star Charger in general. Star Charger actually has the fewest pop, well, some of the fewest pop-offs, but when they pops off, it's like literally shaking up a Diet Pepsi can for three and a half days consistently and then taking off the top. Like, that's what a pop-off is from Star Charger. And honest to God, that's the last time three and a half years it's been since Star Charger's popped off, I think. Yeah, three, three and a half, four years. So it is, my... my Terrible metaphor makes sense. Foxy knows what I'm talking about. It was against Foxy's Foxy's boy uh, used for glue at Evo 2012. I was right there. I was right there. Foxy was like, "There's no way he gonna beat the footsie of the use for glues." Well, he did. Actually, he got to bite him. Is PL coming for them cage players? Well, no. PL, Perfect Legend, has said that he is not going to come on Red Hot Sundays ever. The fake reason he gave for it is... I don't know if he really gave a fake reason. He just said, nah, bro, I don't want to come on Red Hot Sundays. I'm telling you, he doesn't want to come on Red Hot Sundays because he doesn't want another 13-0. He doesn't want... Carl doesn't want to have to put up with a blow-up if someone... You know, like, you know, he was, he was downplaying Cage all week, you know? 
So what am I going to do? I'm going to find the seven best cages and say, "All right, let's get let's see how let's see how overblown, you know, cage talk is. Let's see, let's see how bad cages are. Let, come on, Carl, get on my stream. Show me how bad we overrate cage." And you know, he'd come over here. He'd probably lose at least four out of the five cages or five out of seven cages, and then the blow up would ensue. And then you know, he would be mad at me for like ten years. If I tell you guys. I feel like I feel this character is overrated, and I feel like I would mop him. And he says, "Come on, my stream and show me." I'd be like, "All right, I will." And if I lose, I'm like, "I guess I was wrong." But if I win, then that's that's good. One to one, good good adjustment by Buffalo. Not gonna lie, that connection looked like horse shit. He was shit talking Zarakamaka. Well, that's interesting because the first the first person I was gonna have him face was Zarakamaka's cage, and then DJT's cage, and then Vendetta, and then Malice of 1992, and then uh, Basher. I was gonna have all the cages. If he bought, if he beat them all, he could get on stream and pop off on me and blah blah blah. But I told you, pig, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah blah. You know. But I got a feeling he wasn't. So. What's up, Tacky Hadcock? I mean, DJ, get DJ Helmies on here? I don't think he's going to mop that cage. Very few people can mop DJ Helmies. Actually, I don't think anyone mops DJ Helmies. And if Carl still wants to come on and do it, he can. I mean, he's, he's welcome to come on. I'll make adjustments. Foxy says, can I have my delayed pop-off on you, pig? Uh, you can if you want. I wouldn't care. If people pop off on me, it's fair game. The pro Here's the deal. Here's the deal, guys. It, you Sometimes you have to be careful on who you pop off against. Or sometimes you have to be careful who you talk shit about. Because all you're doing is just... You're just... You're digging your grave. Like, it, God forbid you ever lose to that person. You're you're digging your grave. So, for example, I popped I popped off when I beat Foxy at ESL season one. So if he popped off on me, I, I he popped he beat me and popped off on me. I would just shake my head like, "Yep, good job." <laughs> Plus, I love Foxy. All right, two one, amazing adjustments by Beyond Toxin here. I want to make you guys aware of something. Um, Ultra David, Ultra David, uh, very well known FGC member of the community. He had. He recently asked me, could he take some of these matches and uh, remove the audio and uh, record his commentary over it and re-upload to his channel? I have given him permission. Only him permission. No one else. No one else. Only him. Only uh, only David have uh, given permission to, because he reaches a completely different audience, and I think it's good for the scene, good for the game. But if I see like. Uh, What's that goober that did all those KI videos? Like he would like make like click clickbait videos, 20, 30 seconds long, 20 bit videos a day just to kind of get viewers. And he would also steal other people's stuff. What's that guy's name? Me and Dizzy used to text and make fun of this guy all the time. What's that guy's name? Yeah, if you're one of those people, no, I'm going to have you removed off YouTube ASAP. Like I'll get your account banned if you, if you steal my stuff without asking. Who was that goober? Does anyone remember that goober's name on KI? That that guy was a massive, like just cuck, Brian. No, not Dynasty. Please, someone remember his name, please. Oh, good stuff by Buffalo to re reverse the combo into the corner. No, actually, it's not. It's not. No, YouTube will remove it. Monetize licensed channels. You have the right to have it removed. Fight. No, not Netagear. God, does anyone not remember that goober's name? I think it started with a G. It was the KI guy. And then he made like this this sappy video that if you guys don't start watching my videos a thousand times a day, I'm gonna become homeless. And then he just like disappeared. Why didn't anyone remember that guy? I think me and Dizzy were the only people who noticed this guy. I think he had the word Jago in his name. It's not Jago Blake. I love Blake. Not Blake. Don't please don't say Jago Blake. Jake's a, Blake's awesome. Ass 
Acid glow. Lau Lau's boy nailed it. Acid glow. Acid glow. That's it. Acid glow. That's his name. Acid glow. That's him. It's acid glow. That's it. And that is all she wrote for Sub Zero. <laughs> Good stuff, Toxin. That's 3 1, right? God, Acid Glow. What a goober. Pay your respects. Throne defended. Oh, now I feel sick to my stomach thinking about Acid Glow. Okay, so that was 3 to 1, right? Yep, 3 to 1. Buffalo is mad at me. Now now Forever King is up. And first to five, King versus Armed Calf. Oh shit, it's not even typing into the chat. Hold on. Alright, let me get Forever King.